Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am finally doing a wrap up of my whole collection project pan from 2023. Yes, it is almost May and probably, yeah, it will be May by the time this video goes up. And I'm just getting around to um, my project pans from last year. Yes, I know. So. <laughs> I thought what I would do, so as usual, I'll start with the things that I actually reached my goal on, but I am doing a refresh entirely of this project. Some of these things will be returning in another project, which will be my plan to pan in 2024, so you might see them again. But this project, we are starting fresh because the, well, what I've done in the past is every year, how many years have I been doing this now? I think this will be my third year, but I choose the number of products for the year. So last year was 23, this year will be 24. And I choose them randomly from my Tiny Decisions app. And it's a roulette style project pan. So um, once I reach my goal, like I just roll for another one. And I very rarely, <laughs> disclaimer, have use up goals unless I think like it's actually doable. Because for me, I am not somebody that can use up makeup. Like I just, that's just not who I am. I don't use, I don't wear makeup every day. And I like to rotate my makeup. I don't like to do the same look. So I'm not a very successful <laughs> project planner, to be honest. But. It's fun for me just to have use goals to actually use my makeup to rotate it amongst my products or among, I don't ever, I never, I never know how to use that word, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just like to get use out of my makeup, which is why I do project pans, even though I never finish products. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Um... And I haven't been doing well on my tracking either, so some of these numbers are not accurate. I, I never say that I use something more than I have, but I definitely I'm I'm under underestimating. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. The number of uses. So anyway. Um I need to get better about tracking this year also. So the first product. This one I know I've used so and also another thing once I reach my goal which is usually like 10 uses um, I stop counting because I'm like well I've already reached my goal if I use it more it doesn't matter but maybe I should be counting because it'd be interesting to see um, like how many times I've used a product like overall like Emily and Max does I think she has um, if she still does her project 100 uses so she counts like every time she uses things which I maybe should do too. Anyway this Hanalei bronzer um, I rolled in for 10 uses and I've used it probably like 20 times to be honest because this is the bronzer I use every time I do my makeup <laughs> so except for today because You'll see another video. I was trying new stuff, but this is a bronzer I got in a boxy charm. I don't know anything about this brand, but I really like this bronzer. It's very light, as you can see, so it worked well for me during the winter months. And it has like pretty good dip in it, actually. Like I don't know, can you see like how it's worn down around the pen? Um, yeah, I really like this product actually, and. I will probably miss it, but I'm ready to try new things, so I will put this back. Um, yeah, it's just called Matte Bronzer. There isn't even a name, but it's a um, it's from South Korea, so there you go. That I reached my goal on. Also, my Kosas products. Of course, I reached my goal on my brow products because I only work on one, you know rotation not rotation like I use multiple brow products at a time but I don't like mix 
and match. So because I pulled in the Kosas pencil, this is called, by the way, the Brow Pop pencil in the shade Medium Brown. And I also have the Air Brow in the shade Medium Brown. So because I pulled in these two, I was also working on my Kosas Clear Brow Gel. But anyway, I use these products every time I do my makeup, so I stop counting after 10 uses. <laughs> um, so I'm ready to put those away, even though I really like these, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So those can go back in my collection. And, oh, for essential oil. So essential oil was a new category. I rolled in probably like two updates ago. Um, because I have, a, I'm looking at them now, I have so many essential oils, I don't have enough room for them, so I'm trying to, um, use up some of them, basically. Although I don't, I don't say use up goals on essential oil unless I'm, like, down to the bottom. Because I don't, that's another thing, I don't like to do the same scent every time. Anyway, this is Vetiver. And, um... Yeah, I stopped counting after 10 uses, but this one is not empty, unfortunately. I say that because um, this is a very annoying essential oil to use because it's like a syrup texture and I can't get it out the usual way. I have to use a dropper, so it's like a whole process and <laughs> I wish it was just like normal because I love the smell of vetiver. Um, I don't know if you guys have used vetiver essential oil. Is it always like that or did I get like a weird one? Because I don't think I would purchase this again because of the texture. It's just too much. It's just annoying to me that it doesn't come out of the bottle. Anyway, I've reached my goal on this. Um, the other one I don't have anymore. I think because it was in my empties, it was peace and calming. Um... It must have been in my empties because it's not here and I vaguely remember talking about it <laughs> in an empties video but it, it was one I really liked. It was um, like one that you could use as a fragrance even if you wanted to because it's like a blend. So that one is gone. That was actually an empty then. Um, then for perfume. Okay, this is so pathetic. <laughs> this. This was a sample that I rolled into this project and I said I wanted to use it 10 times because I was like, well for sure it'll be done after 10 times, but I only apply two sprays of perfume when I wear perfume and so I have reached my goal on this, but I'm not even done it and that's all that I have left. <laughs> so I'm going to take it out of this project, but I'm going to definitely just use this up. I actually really like it. It's Toca Julieta. It's a very nice like spring scent too so I will use that one up and oh I'll talk about the other one later but this one yeah technically met my goal on although I would have preferred to use up the whole thing. And for highlighter my Hard Candy Rose Gold highlighter one of my favorites um, I had a 10 use goal and I way surpassed it but I stopped counting again. I love this highlighter. It looks like it would be too deep but once you blend them all together it's a really pretty rose gold shade and I get a lot of compliments on this and it's funny because this is like the cheapest highlighter <laughs> I own and I didn't even pay full price for it. It came in a Walmart beauty box when they did those. I picked one up when I was in the States. So yeah, this is probably worth like $2. And yeah, I love it. So um, my battery's gonna die. So let me just tell you three more things I'm rolling out. My Bite Beauty 032 lip pencil. I. Oh, I'm like, how did I reach my goal on this? I only had a 5 use goal, so that's a nice lip pencil. And then my VDL Lumilayer Primer. This is a product you will see again in another project because I'm trying to use it up and it's less than halfway full now. So yeah, reach my goal. 
um, this. I only had a 10 use goal. I put that I used it 12 times, but I've been using it every time I do my makeup and every day I go to work, which is twice a week. So I've used it a lot. And then one of my setting sprays, the Peach and Lily, I had a 10 use goal on this. And actually, there's some good use on this now. It's down to here. So really like this product. I don't feel like it does much, but I just like the spray and how it feels on my face. So yes, putting that back. So let me change my battery and tell you the things I didn't reach my goal on <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay, so things that I didn't reach my goal on but I'm still putting back in my collection. The first one is my Freck Beauty Cheek Slime. Um, I had a 10 new goal on this. I actually used it seven times maybe even more, um, so not too bad. But yeah, gonna put this back. Although now would be a good time to use it because it's like a very vibrant, like reddish coral shade, but I'll put that one back in my collection. My Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush Duo in the shade Cosmic Coral. I keep in the box <laughs> because otherwise it's just boring like this. Um, this I only had a five use goal. I think I only used it four times, but now that I think about it, it might have been more because this is a blush that I wear to the office. It looks like this. I was just cleaning the powder. I just mix both shades together and I really like it. So I'll put that one away. Another blush that I had a five use goal on that are, I may or may not have reached. I put that I used it four times. My ColourPop Cat's Eye. This is another one I wear to the office, but this one has glitter in it. I don't mind because it's um, subtle enough to where I'm comfortable wearing it to the office when I don't have very much makeup on, but I really like the color of this. It's a nice bright pink shade. Here's a product I did not touch one time. <laughs> My KVD um, Tattoo Pencil Liner, Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Pyrolucite Brown. I honestly just kind of forgot about this. I did intend to use it. Oh God, it's getting dry, I think, because it's coming out of the container. I did intend, oh God, I intended um, what's happening? <laughs> it's not going back in. I intended to use this as a eyeliner, like a, on my waterline. Actually, maybe I did, because I feel like I remember doing that. I might have used this once. Anyway, I didn't use it enough. And now it's like coming out of the packaging, so that's not good. But I guess I'll put this away. <laughs> Um, I honestly need to probably declutter my eyeliners because I never use eyeliner and I have a lot of eyeliners. Um, mostly because of BoxyCharm. They, well, Ipsy, I should say. They love giving eyeliners. I guess most people do use eyeliner when they do their makeup. I don't know. I just don't. But I do like that this is brown because I definitely don't need any more black eyeliners um yeah so i'm gonna put that back but i do hope that i get some more use out of it before it completely dries up um what else oh my Too Faced shake your pom-poms another disappointment <laughs> actually i love this eyeshadow palette it's one of my favorites but i for some reason thought i was really gonna use this a lot i put 20 use goal and I choose my goals like I don't roll so I don't know why I chose 20 and I have only used it I put seven times it might have been more but I know I didn't use it enough so this will go back like I said it's one of my favorites so I'm not gonna get rid of it or anything and I do have like some good dips well maybe just one dip in the lightest shade because I use that every time I use this palette as an inner corner highlighter. I've also used it 
on my face as a highlighter. Um, but yeah, this still smells like peaches. I'm gonna put it back though. Another palette I did not use as much as I intended, the ColourPop Harry Potter palette. I only had a 5 use goal on this and I put two times. I really thought I used it more than twice, but anyway. Definitely not five because I know that I wanted to use the green shades for a look and I haven't done it yet. So that's what it looks like. I've used the neutrals, the reds, and the warm tones, but I haven't used the green. Did I use the blue? I think I used the blue also. So I need to use the shade still, but I'm going to put it back because it's just been in this project for so long and I'm really wanting to rotate my eyeshadow palettes. I have not been wearing eyeshadow um, because I don't wear eyeshadow to work. I honestly don't really have time to put eyeshadow on the way I want it to be done, so I just skip that. Um, and it's really sad because if you've seen my eyeshadow palette videos, you know that I have Oh, like 200 eyeshadow palettes. I don't even know. Um, yeah, so I really should be using them. But I'm going to put that one away. Um, foundation. Okay, this Tarte um, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I actually have used this nine times, but I do have a use up goal on this because it's my oldest foundation, I think. I'm pretty sure this is my oldest foundation and this will probably go in my plan to pan project because after this year I'm thinking I just should get rid of it because it's probably expired. It doesn't smell weird or look weird but I don't know how comfortable I am to keep using this. Although I do actually like it so yeah we'll see but um that won't be in this project anymore. Um, also my Pure Lease BB Cream Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream specifically with SPF 40. This has expired I think. If it expired um, month, day, year it was April 7th 2024 so I wouldn't count on this for my SPF anymore but I don't think it's like, I'm not going to get rid of it just because it expired. It's just that there's actual, like, you know, drugs in it. <laughs> Drug facts. Because there's active ingredients when there's SPF. But, yeah, I don't know. I have the shade Light. I don't think I love this product. I feel like it looks kind of heavy on my skin, if I remember correctly. And whenever I will reach for a complexion product I would try to use this one first because it's older so I haven't used this as much as I wanted to but I'm glad I have used it that many times um, before it expired. Did I even say I put eight? I used it eight times and I had a 10 use goal so that's not bad. Oh the other fragrance another pathetic <laughs> one my Lancome Idol Deluxe Size like little mini. Um, I have used this over 26 times and that's how much I have still. <laughs> so I'm still gonna put fragrance in this project but don't count on me using it up because I am not somebody that goes like whoa, 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 whoa. that's my spray <laughs> sound. I don't do that. I do like ch -ch -ch. And that's it because I actually am very sensitive to fragrances um, yeah so I don't use them that much but I still like them and I do like that one too so yeah just haven't got much use on it actually um, oh another lip liner Oh, this one I haven't touched either. My Jante Blue Brown Sugar. Um, this just doesn't really go with a lot of lip products that I have in my rotation right now. 
which is I think the only reason I haven't reached for it because I don't mind brown lip liner it's just very deep and I guess this one was getting preference um, because this is the bite one which is like a neutral like a pinky tone so that was easy to use for me but yeah I'll put it back it's fine um, I have a lot of other lip liners to use and oh my Sephora cream lip stain this is sad I still only used it one time one out of five this is the shade 01 it's like the red shade and uh, I would like to use red lip products more I just, I don't know. I don't wear red lip products to the office. That would be weird to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a very like casual environment and I don't feel like I should be wearing red lipstick. Not that I shouldn't, but you know what I mean? I'm just not comfortable wearing red lip during the day and I never go anywhere at night. So <laughs> that's why I haven't used this one anyway. It'll go back in my collection because I'm not ready to get rid of it. And then for powder, this was a pleasant surprise. My Too Faced Peach Perfect. I actually have really been liking this. Um, I wasn't sure because I know like other products that were in this collection were meant to be like mattifying and I have dry skin so I definitely don't want mattifying. Yeah, it's even called mattifying loose setting powder but i've realized i do like to apply a bit of powder right here um, because it helps to blur my pores in that area and if i get any like creasing or something it helps with that and i feel like this blends like seamlessly and it doesn't look dry on the skin so i've really been liking this i know it doesn't exist anymore and this is just a mini by the way but I'm going to keep this. I've used this 7 of 10 times, so not bad at all. And the last product is another setting spray, my Saint Lux setting spray. This is, um, well, I haven't used this as much as the Peach and Lily one because this is more like an actual setting spray. So when I'm going somewhere where I want my makeup to last long, then I would use this one. Um, I actually feel like I like this a lot. I feel like it makes me very dewy. If I'm rem remembering correctly. And I like the smell of it, so that's fine. Um, I can't see... No. I don't think I can see through this bottle. No, I can't. So I don't know how much I've used. It still feels heavy, so... I've only used it um, five of the ten times. And I believe it was brand new when I rolled it in, so if that tells you anything. <laughs> There's tons of product left. So that was everything in the 2023 version of this project. So I'm going to now put everything away and pull some new products. And I'm going to do that off camera. That's what I normally do for this project because it's actually like a long process. I roll, I randomize the category and then I roll my tiny decision app, which is like a wheel to pick the product. And I can only have two of each category maximum. So I won't make you sit through <laughs> all of that. I'll do that off camera and I'll be back to show you the products and talk about my goals. Okay, I'm back. That actually took quite a long time, but I have 24 products here. Um, where do I begin? <laughs> Some of these are very exciting. They're things that I've never used before. Um, let me just start, I guess, with this. I have a lot of variety of things too. So this Am I even in frame? This is my ColourPop Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer I Think You're Cute like lip duo. So I actually rolled this in for the lip liner and this was already in my Shop My Stash. 
so I have used this already and <clears throat> sorry this is a very like nude liner if I can get it out it looks like this it's very cute the shade is Clarice so the lipstick and the lip liner are both in the shade Clarice that's the lip liner. It's a very nude brown. I'll swatch it. Ignore that for now. <laughs> it's this here. I really like this. It's nice and like um, soft, but it doesn't like go all over the place. While we're here, this is the lipstick, which I probably will use also just because it's in the same duo. It's very pretty and like nice and hydrating. Sorry, somebody is being crazy out there. Um, yeah, but I did roll that in specifically for the lip liner. Then for blush, I actually am at my cap on blushes because I have two of each cream and powder and that's my max. So for the cream blushes, I rolled the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. So specifically this blush here, um, do these have names? Yeah, it's the cream blush in the shade, oh, it's just called Glow Cream Base. Oh, it felt a little dry just then, but, oh, ooh. <laughs> I don't remember, I know I've used this before, but I don't remember how much I like it. It's very glowy. Yeah, so that's the Glow Cream Base. Let's just swatch the highlighter since I might use it since it's in the same palette. The highlighter is a powder. It's this one here. Mm, that might be deep for me, but maybe in the summer months, if it's still around <laughs> by then, I'll have a tan. So there's that one. The other cream blush I rolled in is this actually a stick product. This is my VDL Creamy Stick Jelly in the shade, uh, I don't know, <laughs> 10 or 101. I don't know. It's in Korean, so I can't read it <laughs> if there is a shade. Um, I remember really liking this and it's quite pigmented if I remember correctly. It's a very light pink, but I'm excited to use this. This is getting very old. This was in a project before. Um, I don't remember. It's been a while though since I've used it, but it's very pretty. Then for powder blush, I rolled in my ColourPop Animal Crossing Flower Power. This one, I don't know if I've ever used because it looks like I haven't touched it at all. And it's like a lilac blush. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be nice on me, on my skin tone, but it looks pretty in the pan. And it does have some shimmer in it. So I'm assuming it's like the same formula as the Sailor Moon blush that I just had in. And I liked that one, even though you could see the glitter on your skin, but I don't mind. I don't mind that. And the other uh, powder blush I rolled in is also from ColourPop. I don't think I've ever used this either. This is the shade Flirt Alert. And I hope it's one that's, okay, easy to open, but I do seem to have dug my nail in it. This one is more like a mauve tone and it's completely matte. So we'll see. I do prefer like brighter blushes in the spring and summer, but I do have the Natasha Denona and the BDL. So yeah, I have enough variety. So those are the blushes. Oh, bronzer. So I rolled in this bronzer I've never used before from Ipsy. It's from the brand Lower East Side, and it's the shade Skyscraper. It is, oh, it's a cream bronzer. <laughs> okay, I did not know that. It looks quite deep, let's swatch it. I thought it was gonna be like the Hanalei bronzer that I just rolled out. Oh dear. Well, 
that I did just, you know, that was a lot that I pulled with my finger, but, um, oh god, okay, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> it's just very, I think I just took too much product, so I think with the brush we'll be okay. Oh, I'm excited that's a cream, though. Um, but the other bronzer I rolled in is very exciting because I am finally going to be using my Sephora Pro palette. I have had this for, I don't know, like four years, probably, maybe more. I don't know. When did these come out? If you know, I do not. There's no year on this. This is the Pro Face Palette in Medium because I liked the colors in this one better. And look at all these. I've never been used. So I did roll this for a bronzer. And there are two shades I guess I can use as bronzer. Although I'll have to be gentle because it's this one here. Groundbreaking. And this is a glowy bronzer called Too Glam. So we'll, I'll try and use those. Oh, and I haven't said my goals. I think everything I've said so far, let's just do 10. Let's do 10, I think. Yeah, because now that I wear makeup at least twice a week, I'll be able to rotate through all these products, hopefully. But I'm very excited to finally use this, oh my god. I was beginning to think there was some like glitch and it wasn't being pulled in my Tiny Decisions app because I've never pulled that into a project since buying it. Okay, um, yeah, so that was bronzer. So I have one cream and one palette. Um, highlighter. Highlighter I also reached my cap on because I rolled two powders and two creams. So for the powder, this is very exciting. This is brand new to me. The Too Faced Moon Crush Out of This World Highlighter. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. I think it's supposed to smell like something. I think it was like green apple sparkling apple I don't remember but I've never used it so very excited about this and the other powder is from Colourpop it's um, from the new Sailor Moon collect well the newer Sailor Moon collection the pressed powder highlighter in Moon Kingdom I honestly don't remember what this looks like the packaging is adorable oh okay it's a purple highlighter <laughs> We'll see if I can pull this off. If anything, I can use this as an eyeshadow. Um, that's what it looks like, but I think it might be translucent enough that it doesn't pull, yeah, you see there? It doesn't pull like that purple on the skin, so I'm excited to use that. And then for cream highlighters, just trying to get rid of these swatches. Um, my Milk Makeup Highlighter Stick in Lit. This I've used a number of times before. It's been in projects and shot my stash. It's a really nice, like subtle glow. So I like this for kind of like every day. And then I rolled this in. This is new to me, the Tower 28 Super Dew, but it has no shade. It's literally called No Shade. <laughs> so it's called a Shimmer Free Highlight Balm. And this can be interesting. That's what it looks like. This came in a Sephora Favorites kit, I believe. Because I wouldn't have purchased this on my own. Um, I don't even think I've ever touched this before. So let's see. I mean, it's shimmer free, so it's not going to look like much. But that's it there. Okay. 
I mean, it's, considering it's a bomb, it doesn't feel like sticky or anything. So we'll see how I like this. Um, I did roll in one lip balm, which is the Incredible Jelly Shot. This is ancient and I'm not even sure if it's still good because it has a flower inside, if you can see that. But I remember this used to be like completely clear and it's like cloudy <laughs> now. So I don't know. It's still, I mean, it smells like lip balm. I don't know if it had its smell to begin with. Yeah, we'll see about this. It I have used this before. I don't remember anything about it, but if it does anything weird, I'll just have to get rid of it. But it's good that I'm trying it, at least in this project. Oh, foundation. I only rolled in one complexion product and it's my like second oldest foundation my makeup forever water blend which they don't make anymore but i loved this um i have the shade r210 it looks extremely light so we'll have to see if i still like this shade on me i think when i first started wearing makeup i just was like oh i'll just get the lightest shade because i didn't know well also back then there wasn't as much shade range as there is now <laughs> look at that that is very light but I remember loving this on my dry skin it's so like refreshing like look at that yeah I think I'm still really gonna like this it doesn't smell that great but <laughs> I don't know it smells like foundation so I'm excited to use that again um, I did roll in two powders. Oh, so this Peach Perfect powder was just in this project, right? And I said I was, you know, putting it back in my collection. But this is also in my deck of panning, and I don't know what the reasoning was behind having this in two projects because it doesn't make sense because I wasn't counting it in my deck of panning. Like, I wasn't tracking the uses. So <laughs> I don't know at where, where I'm at for this in the deck of panning. So maybe we'll just start over. I don't know, I have to film that video too, but I've been terrible at my deck of panning project this year. But yeah, this is coming back in because I rolled it again and I was like, also it's in that other project, so I might as well take it back out. So yeah, let's keep using this one. But then I rolled in another powder and this is actually a pressed powder. This is the Bare Minerals um, Translucent Powder Duo. And I was, I think, talking about this. This was in my complexion drawer. Um, not my complexion drawer. My face palette drawer. And I was like, oh, I need to pull that out again. Um, I don't know if I said that in the video or if I said that in my head. But either way, I'm excited to use this. So you have a matte powder on one side and a glow powder on this side. So I'll probably use both, maybe like mix and match, but it's a very like sheer powder. I'm just hoping like it doesn't make my skin look dry or anything. I don't know why I'm showing you that. It's a sheer powder, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. And the glow powder is not meant to be like a highlighter or anything, it's still a powder. It's just like not matte, so. I don't know if you can see that at all. It's there. So we'll see about this. I am excited to use this again. It's getting very old in my collection and it hasn't been used much at all. Um, eyeliners. So I have three eyeliners here, but two are pencil and one is a liquid, so that's okay. Um, this is my Urban Decay torch. This keeps getting rolled into all kinds of things, shot my stash, um, different projects. So I've actually used this quite a bit. It is getting old, but I love the color. It's like a burnt orange kind of shade. Looks like that. Also, the um, Urban Decay Naked Heat palette is in my deck of panning, and this eyeliner came out with that palette, so I should definitely use them together. And then this one I forgot about. This is the Fenty Beauty 
Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner in the shade C About It, like S-E-A, because it is this eyeliner here, <laughs> this like cobalt blue. Unfortunately, it's extremely dry, but as you can see, I still can get color off of it. So I'm gonna try and use this uh, on my waterline and see how I like that. I do like this shade of blue for an eyeliner on the waterline. So I'm hoping it'll transfer like onto my waterline. Cause yeah, it's just old and not getting used much. And then this is my liquid eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Matte Signature Eyeliner in the shade, in the shade, I don't know. There's no shade on this. But it's this, it's the shade of the label here. So I'll try and use this. This is also old. Hopefully it's still good. Oh, it's very pretty though. I don't, yeah, look at that. I'll have to see if I can get away with this as like a wing liner or something. I'll have to challenge myself <laughs> to do that. I think the eyeliners, I should do five use goals because 10 uses on each of those eyeliners is just not realistic for me. So yeah, let's do five on the eyeliners. Everything else so far will be 10. Then I rolled in one primer the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I remember really liking this, so I'm excited to get more use on it. Um, I think this might have been in a project or shot my stash before, because I remember using it, you know, more than other primers. Um, one concealer is my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I don't love this one, if I remember correctly. So I'll we'll have to revisit it and see. It smells like concealer. <laughs> I don't know. I just remembered maybe not liking this one as much. But I I might be misremembering. We'll see. Um, I have the shade Fair Warm. So this looks more like an under eye concealer for me. I did roll one fragrance, but it's very exciting because I haven't used it before. It's from Skylar. It's the shade, the shade, the scent, Vanilla Sky. I think I got this in an Ipsy. Uh, ooh, that smells really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put some on. I don't have any perfume on yet. I was just wearing my body spray today. Why am I showing you? <laughs> There's nothing to see. Ooh, I think I might really like this. It's like a very warm vanilla. Like almost like there's like amber or something in it. I literally have no idea because I'm not good at that sort of thing, but I like it so far. Um, we'll do 10 uses. It is a roller. So it's probably, you're not going to see much use on that, but let's say 10. And then I only rolled in one lip product other than the lip, the lip liner. Just this one lip gloss. This is from the Michaela um, Glam Light collab, the Pot 2. And there's no um, shade name on this, but I rolled the Lucky Charms lip gloss and I'm pretty sure that's the gold one, because I have both of the duos. So, yeah, this is just like a sheer lip gloss with gold reflect. So, that's fine. I can put this on its own or over other lip products. That'll be good to get some use on. And then I rolled two setting sprays, so I'm at my cap on setting spray, but I'm happy it's these two because one is the Complex Culture Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. I don't know if that means anything or if it actually does anything, but it's not really like a makeup setting spray. It's more like, I don't know, 
kind of like a gimmicky thing probably this has already been in a project which is why there's some use on it um but yeah i don't remember this doing anything bad so i'll use this again 10 uses but then i also rolled the iconic london prep set glow so it looks like this but once you shake it up all the mica disperses and this is a very glowy setting spray so i'm glad i have one that's more for like going to the office days and then this will be more like when i want to look a bit more glowy and i don't know polished finished i don't know <laughs> you maybe you know what i mean so that is everything i think unless i forgot something so I will have to put all these products in my spreadsheet now and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do some updates on this project and we'll see how it goes. But I hope you like this video. Let me know if you're doing a project like this below and yeah, if you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!